in a vast territory that ranges from Dieras jungles to the rush rainforest to the most active militant group responsible for the massacre of hundreds of civilians. You can hardly see in 10 meters. Life at Luna is the worst since Operation Suja began compared to other command sectors of Operation Suja in Eastern DRC. Standby patrols inside and around the base, trekking in the thicket jungles, searching for the enemy. Despite the unfriendly environment, UPDF soldiers are enjoying every bit of this expedition. They hold their guns, moving from one end to the other. They prepare their meals in the shortest time possible and wait for the deployment, while others create a defense ring in case the enemy attacks. Now when the enemy moves southwards from the second sector, which is up in Boga, of course they, they, they are to skip Cambia Ua, which was the first phase and the first sector, and they move to the third sector, now Mualika Valley. And the third sector in Mualika Valley provided the third phase of Operation Shuja. Under pressure, Edith fighters typically divert the attention of the security forces by separating into small groups to launch violent attacks in different areas. According to Congolese local chiefs, ADF rebel group have been able to sustain itself by integrating into the local cross-border dubious deals, exploiting local gold trade, cocoa and timber. Operation Suja Commander Major General D. Kolum is engaging the local communities to foster Operation Suja's mission. This enemy team now have crossed through Oicha, they have crossed through uh, the areas uh, west of the Erengeti Commander Road and in those jungles of, uh, of uh, River Ituri. Now, we think after evaluation with the Congolese military as a joint force, we think it is time to start hunting for these guys. And as we start hunting for them, this definitely is a new phase and that phase should be phase four and the sector in which we are going to operate is sector four. Policy border points to the blind spot area for the joint security forces which ADF collaborators capitalized to engage into illegal trade to sustain the rebellion. Haruna Mtesasila reporting for UBS News inside Eastern DRC.